Draw structures for all constitutional isomers with the following molecular formula, C6H14. This is Maialochi bringing you yet another constitutional isomers practice problem. Like we said before, constitutional isomers are molecules that have the same formula. So in our case, we have 6 carbons and 14 hydrogens. That's what all of our molecules must have. But they have a different structure and therefore they will have a different name. Constitutional isomers have the same molecular formula but different structure. Let's go ahead and start. We have six carbons and 14 hydrogens. The easiest way is just to begin by drawing six carbons connected to one another. This is four, five, and six. Every carbon wants to have four bonds, so that let's give each carbon four bonds and these bonds will be hydrogens and let's draw all of our hydrogens in we will soon learn how to draw it easier and not have to draw all the hydrogens in let's go ahead and count our carbons one two three four five six six carbons Hydrogens 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is one of the molecules that we can have. 6 carbons, 14 hydrogens. An easier way to draw it is to draw a bond angle structure. So we go and draw a zigzag. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In our zigzag, Every time you have an end of a line or two lines coming together, that represents a carbon. Hydrogens are not shown but are assumed. So every time we have, for example, this carbon at the end of the line, it has one bond only. That means it needs three more bonds or three more hydrogens which are not shown. So this is an easier way to draw our structure and I will continue drawing this way. Now this is one of the possible molecules. How could I change this? How could I draw another molecule that has the same number of carbons and hydrogens but different connections? To do this, we shorten our parent chain by one carbon. So instead of six carbons, I'm going to draw five carbons. One, two, three, four, five. Next, I'm going to add that one carbon that I have not drawn yet I'm going to add it to my chain to make a new molecule and I cannot add it to the end because if I add it here or here I will go back I will come back to my original molecule so don't add it to the end but I could for example add it to the second carbon this molecule has the same number of carbons and hydrogens six carbons 14 hydrogens but a different structure this is hexane six carbons hexane this is five carbons this would be pentane methyl on the second carbon two methyl pentane so these are constitutional isomers what else can i do i could also put this methyl here so that could be another one instead of putting it on the second carbon i could put it on the third carbon instead of having two methyl pentane i would have three methyl pentane these are constitutional isomers as well could i put it here no because if i would put it here this is one two that would be two methyl pentane again same as this one so these are my only two options next uh, I cannot put it anywhere else. We have decided because I cannot put it at the end. It will give me the original molecule. I cannot put it here because that will be the same as this molecule. What can I do next? I can shorten my parent chain by another carbon. So instead of five carbon parent chain, I now can have four carbon parent chain. And now I have two carbons to add. Where could I add these two carbons? Well, I could add them both. On this carbon that's different right this molecule is differently different from this okay is there anything else I could do I could add one here and one here this molecule is also different could I add them both to this carbon no because again that would if I would draw this that these two molecules are the same so I cannot draw I cannot add them to the second carbon again now I think I have extinguished all the possibilities with my four carbons. Um, 
and again you always have to think are there any other options we could try by doing three carbons but i don't think that it will work because we have three more carbons for example if i do one two you see i'm drawing this again so basically you can try and you will see that these are all of the constitutional isomers for the formula c6 h14 there's one two three four five this is my and i hope that you found this lesson helpful